Hey everyone, my name is Gabriel and this is my new YouTube channel. I'm gonna be posting videos with content such as tips and tricks, uh, equipment reviews, and also just even interviews that I have kind of lined up. So if that's something that you're interested in, please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And if you like this video, please hit that like button because it's gonna help let me know that you're interested in this type of videos and I'll go ahead and make more. But for today, what we got is three tips and tricks that are gonna help improve your black and gray tattooing instantly. So if that's something you're interested in, please stay tuned. But for right now, let's go ahead and roll that intro. All right, so tip number one is gonna be the pendulum motion. A lot of really good black and gray tattooers are very familiar with this motion, whether they call it that or not. The pendulum motion is basically creating a pendulum action and it's just swinging in and swinging out as you go into the skin. You don't wanna shovel into the skin and shovel out. You're creating a motion that's smooth on the way in and it's smooth on the way out. And then if you wanna take that a step farther, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and turn those needles perpendicular from the motion we were doing originally and do that same pendulum motion just in the opposite direction. What that's gonna do is it's gonna give you a good, even, smooth area of shading and that's gonna help you create much smoother tones. So tip number one is the pendulum motion. So tip number two is going to be regarding equipment. So when it comes to tattooing, if you want to create smoother shading, you might want to try out bug pin needles. A traditional needle is a number 12 needle, but bug pins are number 10 and number 8. Number 8 is com commonly known as the bug pin needle, and that's what most people tend to use when they refer to using bug pins. And all that really means is the diameter of the needle is smaller, and it's going to create smaller holes. The smaller the hole, the smoother the shading is going to be when you do it right. But bug pin needles are definitely a good way to get started into doing smoother shading. Not everyone uses buck pin needles. I prefer number 12s with a long taper. That's a different video that I'll post on that, but bug pin needles will help you create smoother shading. Another part of that is gonna be your machine. You wanna use a machine that's running a little bit faster with a medium throw, and that's gonna create a much smoother area of shading also. So between the pendulum motion, bug pin needles, and a smooth running machine, you're already setting yourself up for success. Tip number three is gonna be take your time. Make sure that you're taking your time, not just in how much you're doing in the moment with your shading, but make sure that you're giving yourself enough time for your appointment. Make sure you book this appointment with enough time that you don't have to feel rushed, because when you feel rushed, you're not gonna create the smoothest areas of black and gray shading. So make sure that you allow enough time for your appointment, make sure that you anticipate how much time that you do have to work with, and if it's not enough, make sure you just stop. It's okay to stop with your clients and let them know ahead of time that maybe you won't finish, but stopping instead of rushing it is gonna create smoother areas of gray. So I highly suggest take your time. All right guys, bonus tip. So my best tip I can give you guys for smooth black and gray shading that's gonna heal really well and not just look really good for an Instagram photo is gonna be be deliberate in your action. One of the things about being deliberate is understanding tones. I'm gonna create future videos on this so make sure you guys stay tuned on that but being deliberate means knowing what it is that you're trying to put into the skin and putting it in from the beginning. There's a lot of uh, people that when they first start tattooing, they try building up values. They'll scrape the skin and scrape it some more and scrape it some more until they get the darkness that they want, but that's not gonna help with healing because the more trauma you create, the more that most likely it's not gonna heal as dark as you want it to be. So making sure you understand your tones, making sure you know what you're working with when it comes to your drop count, also the person's skin tone, those are gonna create a big advantage when it comes to putting ink into the skin. So whether it's going ahead of time and just drawing out and doing a sketch, that's gonna help a lot. So bonus tip is be deliberate with your actions to create the smoothest black and gray shading that you possibly can. But yeah, those are my tips and tricks. If you guys have any other questions or anything that you guys would like to see videos on, please go ahead and leave that in the comments because that's gonna help me know what it is that you guys wanna see. So thank you guys so much for taking time and watching my video. If you guys have any other questions, like I said, shoot me a comment. Um, and yeah, I look forward to hearing from you guys. Hope you have a great day. Thanks.